Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Thanks to our friends at Biz TV, coast to coast and around the country. We're delighted to talk to you about what's going on in the business front. But let me tell you, part of the business front is knowing what's happening in the political front. And one of the most savvy people I know when it comes to this is Lee Kaplan. And he's with the law firm Smizer Kaplan and Veselka. That's SKV.com. Lee, glad to have you on the program. Good morning. Yeah, good to see you. Talk a little bit about, uh, you know, this presidential campaign. You know, you, you brought up an interesting point uh, b- during the break about John Kasich, you know, the Republican uh, governor of Ohio, a gentleman I've known since the 1980s. And uh, he's certainly an interesting character. He has a really compelling story, I think, in most election cycles, but I, I'm doubtful in this one. But but you raised an interesting, some interesting points about John. Well, until there is some winnowing of the establishment candidate field, I think he's going to stay in the single digits well below. But Somebody is going to win a primary who is not named Cruz or Trump. Mm -hmm. Don't know who that'll be, and it'll have to be before what they call the SEC primary, which is all these southern states where Cruz is clearly going to be strong. So that means most likely New Hampshire. And they say Christie's in the lead. The thing about Kasich is he is a guy who was on the budget committee, knows something about dollars, is not just a bomb thrower, and once upon a time was on the budget committee when we had a balanced budget. Yeah, the last the last chairman of the budget committee when there was a balanced budget. There, there was such a thing. That's yeah. right. What and, a novel idea. Yeah. So <laughs> that could happen again uh, if the economy picks up, if we increase revenue, if they restrain entitlements. And he did some controversial things in Ohio that for a while made him unpopular, but he seems to be extremely popular in Ohio, So, yeah. which is a state— the Republicans have to have to win the presidency. John Kasich, I, I knew back in the 80s, he's kind of a loose cannon back then. He seems to have uh, matured over time. Uh, but i got to tell you, there's just, uh, he, he, he keeps running on the narrative of experience. And I guess you have to because he's got tons of experience in a GOP culture that's not necessarily fond of the experience. There was a time, you know, just a couple of election cycles ago where they would have laughed Ted Cruz off the stage with his two years experience in the U.S. Senate. And now all of a sudden he's, uh, you know, he's an old timer with too much. He's, he's too much of a political insider in the eyes of so many of these voters. Well, it's crazy. That's right. Of course, President Obama had a little experience as what a state senator. And then he had how much experience as a U.S. senator? Right. Not much. Not much. So. I personally think it'll come down to Cruz and somebody. Somebody might be Trump, but it might be somebody who does well in New Hampshire. Could be Kasich because Ohio is important, and the people in New Hampshire apparently like Kasich. You never know between the endorsements he might pick up from the McCains of the world or the Grahams of the world. uh, That might help him there. Or some other person to oppose people who they think, who some Republicans think are flamethrowers. Yeah, no question about it. It's going to be interesting to see. I think that uh, I, I personally think the ground game still matters. It seems like everything has changed. There's an, you know, in the old days, you had to have a certain amount of experience. That experience now hurts you. You know, uh, if the media points out uh, errors in your background and errors in your your positions, that would destroy you. Well, in Trump's case, he gets more momentum every time that happens, and even Ben Carson to a certain extent. And so everything has changed. But I can't help but believe that the ground game still matters. And what I can tell, Trump has virtually no ground game in either Iowa or in New Hampshire. He's trying to do retail politics across the board in both places. Cruz has the most impressive ground game, they say, in years in every single state he is. And he dominates the South. And at least in New Hampshire, people really pride themselves on retail politics. That is, somebody goes and has coffee with them, is known to them, talks to them, and they take very seriously the idea that they are picking nominees and presidents because they get cl- up close and personal with people. The caucus situation in Iowa is so unusual, that's motivating people. New Hampshire is different. Absolutely. Lee Kaplan, Smizer, Kaplan, and Veselka. That's skv.com. Do you want to remind you? Best content here shows up over there at our sister news site, usdailyreview.com. While they are liking on Facebook, follow on Twitter, and this is The Price of Business.